Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Thule Exporter Pro Ladder Rack here on our 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. So the Exporter Pro is available in two models. We have the silver version here, but it's also available in an all black version. Now these two models are going to be exactly the same besides the color. So just choose the one that you feel is going to best match your truck. So the Thule Exporter Ladder Rack is going to be an excellent option here for our truck. It's going to allow us to do a number of different things. Whether we're actually using our truck as a truck and we have a ladder that we need to take to the job site, this rack here is going to be an excellent option, especially for some of those longer ladders that don't necessarily fit in your truck bed. So it's definitely a super versatile rack. No matter what we're going to be using it for, we're not going to have any issues. Whether we go to hit the job site, we have a ladder that's a little bit longer than our truck bed and we don't want to lean it over the tailgate. This ladder rack here is going to be a perfect option. Or we have some sheets of plywood or drywall that we want to stick up there. We're not going to have any issue at all. We can also use our ladder rack if we want to hit the trails or we want to hit the water. We should not have any problem at all attaching a bike rack or a cargo carrier so we can haul some kayaks to and from the lake. So the Thule Exporter, one of the major features of this rack is that we can actually adjust the height of our crossbars. So say we're going to be using this for maybe a cargo box, a bike rack if you will, or maybe some shorter ladders or kayaks. We don't quite need the ladder rack to extend above the cab of our vehicle because they are going to fit just in the truck bed length. We can actually lower down these uprights here on the front and back. It's going to make a little bit more of an aerodynamic profile. It's also got, not going to require as much work to reach on the top of these crossbars and get our accessories on and off. So in order to lower the crossbars on our ladder rack, it's super simple. We're gonna have these adjustment knobs on both sides here on the inside of our vehicle. We'll simply loosen these to release some of the tension and then we can actually start to begin lowering the upright. Now you're gonna need to do this on both sides and you're also gonna notice there's gonna be a set of numbers here on the inside and this is just to help you make sure that you get both the sides even so your crossbars are nice and level. So now we'll just come on to the other side here, we'll loosen up this knob as well, and then once we get it loose, we wanna make sure that we have a hold of our upright here because the system should start to drop down. And then we can stop it where we want it to stay, and then just simply re-tighten our knobs here. We wanna make sure that we pay attention to what numbers we're on so we can repeat that on the other side to get our crossbars nice and level. So a couple nice features about this system in particular. Number one, we're actually gonna have the load stops come with it and they're gonna be adjustable. So we're gonna have these little knobs on the side here. We'll simply loosen that and then we can slide our load stop in or out, come on the other side, match it up as well. So then if we had our ladder here, we could just pos position it in between these tighten them down, that's gonna lock it in place. We don't have to worry about the ladder shifting back and forth side to side. And then when we're not using our load stops, we can simply store them on the outside of our crossbars here so they're not taking up any crossbar space and getting in our way. And that'll bring me to our next feature. So our next feature of this system here that I'd like to talk about has to do with the actual crossbars. If you take a look here, we're gonna have this integrated channel that runs through the entire top length of our crossbars. Now, this can be used for a number of different things. Number one, it's what our load stops are gonna use. But there's also some carriers on the market, such as bike racks, kayak carriers, that actually mount using these channels. So these channels are a little bit easier to use and taking the time to wrap around clamps. So it's a little bit more seamless, if you will. And it's definitely a feature that you're gonna to wanna to utilize if you are using kayaks and bike racks. So then when we're not utilizing the channels here, we're gonna have this protective weather stripping here. So it's gonna protect any foreign contaminants from getting inside the channels. And it's also gonna help cut down the wind noise. It's super simple to install. We just simply press it into place. So if you're worried about security, you're worrying about somebody taking the ladder rack off your truck at night, let's say you park outside, you're not gonna have that issue here with the exporter because we actually have the option to lock each of our uprights to the truck bed here. That's gonna be what this plastic cap you see here is. There's gonna be a little circular cutout inside. And this is designed to be used with a Thule lock core. Keep in mind the lock cores and keys are sold separately, but it does still allow you the ability to lock the ladder rack to your truck bed. So a couple other nice features about our ladder rack here. Number one, it's gonna have an all aluminum construction. 
So basically what this means is we're not gonna have to worry about any issues with rust and corrosion. And it's also pretty lightweight, so it doesn't take too much effort to get it on and off the truck. So in regards to weight capacity, we are gonna be limited to 450 pounds, evenly distributed across both bars. And now that we've gone over some of the benefits and features of this system here, let's go ahead and jump into that install. It's gonna be super simple. What we're gonna do is, we're first gonna assemble our uprights to our mounting feet here, along with our crossbars attached. And then we can go ahead and sit the entire upright on our truck bed here. Now we're gonna space them out accordingly to what load we're gonna be carrying. But when we do that, we also need to make sure that we place these rubber pads on top of the truck bed and underneath the mounting feet here. This is gonna ensure that we don't cause any damage or scratches to the top of our bed rails. But once we get them in the correct location, we're gonna take our C-clamps here, along with our cleats. It's pretty simple. Just simply place one of the cleats over our Allen head bolts. Make sure we loosen them enough so we can get them installed. So the cleat here is gonna press up on the bottom side of our bed here. And then we're gonna have a little groove up top, which is gonna line up with the channel in the top of our mounting feet. So again, it's super simple. You may need to rotate it a little bit, come in underneath first. Then slide it up into position. Then you should feel it in this channel up top. And then we can simply tighten down our Allen bolt here. Now we're gonna do this by hand. And then we're gonna switch over to our tool here. So in order to complete this install, you're gonna need a 7 seconds inch Allen key. So we get that one snug. I'm gonna come back over here to our other C clamp. And pretty much just repeat that same thing. Before I get them too tight, I'll go ahead and get the other one started on the other side as well. I'm gonna go ahead and snug this one up. And then if you notice, on a couple of our C clamps here, we're gonna notice this extra bracket here. And that's actually designed to be used with our locking mechanism here. We simply slide that on place. And then if we purchase them separately, this is now when we install our Thule locking cores into these holes here. But now that we have this side complete, we'd simply just repeat this on the other side and then for our other crossbar assembly as well. And that'll do it today for our look and installation of the Thule Exporter Pro Ladder Rack here on our 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 1500.